Hello viewers and welcome to another video for unit tests. I'm going to show you how to create a unit test. You go on the solution, you go add new project and unit test project, name it and it'd be under that solution as a location and simply easily click on OK. No, shouldn't be simple. And you have a wind calendar unit test project. And first of all, you want to be, you probably not have a reference at the end, but if you do have, I have a, I do have a, a solution, I do have a program, so I go to cat window, that is my form, and because the form, you need to add a simple reference. That would be the, the program, uh, that, would be, that would be the stuff you're going to be testing on. And here I have the test method and under unit test, ideally the unit test should be create, created before you begin to write the program. It tends to be better and you have a much better idea what you're going to do. Like what you can tie in the result what you expect. Um, if you're only starting out, if this is the case, it may not work out right now. But once you write the the program, you can put it all together. It doesn't have to be right the first time, but just create the unit test so you have a fair idea, and you can improve on it later once you write within the program. But be sure you add a reference, an assembly reference. Those are two important things. Here, well, here the example is, I'm going to predict this should happen. I'm going to be properly for it to find 7.3. Then I have the program written. I go to form, cat window, new form one. If you do not have it, don't worry about it. You can do that once you've created the form. Now, here, this is the waiting. I'm going to predict, I'm going to input the number 73 divide. And here the expecting research. To type into the search what you expect. So I'm going to do 2.3. Now I allow a bit of tolerance. And what you do is you put the actual, I didn't put the actual research, which I do. And you put in the actual research and set in the tolerance. It should be 0.03 or 4. Now, most important is I put the actual research. You probably don't have natural research, but to predict, I'm going to get get part of two, and just get you to part it, and that's the actual research. Now, when you're just starting out and the unit test, the first thing it probably won't work right now. Don't worry about it. At least you just got a fair idea what is coming up next. And here, if you do it later on with the form one, you just start into in the the code. Because by getting a good idea, you know what is expected, and then what is coming up next, and you could do or enter A, B, C, A, B, C, and you expect us. And you just basically what you do, you know, Ted, is predicting what the user could do. The user could do anything. Just predict what they're going to do, get some feedback, what could happen, something like that. Uh, if you don't know how it works, just write down a comment what it could happen. I hope this helps, so I'd like you to please wait, surprise, and come on my video, and i see you next time.